So I'm finding my Canon 5D Mark IV to be a really good camera for, for wildlife photography. Um, and one of the uh, advantages uh, in the 5D Mark IV is how well the manual mode and auto ISO combination is implemented. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how I set up my camera to shoot in that way. So for much of the time, uh, I have been someone who photographs using the aperture priority mode. But in more recent years, uh, I've started to make more and more use of the manual mode, but with auto ISO uh, engaged. So on Canon's 1DX and the 80D, the 7D Mark II, uh, the auto ISO M mode uh, combination works really well. Um, it was possible to use it on cameras like the 6D and also the 5D Mark III, but on those two cameras um, and some of the older ones, you cannot use exposure compensation when you're in M mode, like you can on the new 5D Mark IV. So I'm just going to go through uh, setting up my 5D4 in that way. The first thing is to change the mode dial uh, over to M mode, um, and then uh, I go to the menu on the camera and I use the Q button to skip menus. In the first tab, um, I'm going to look for ISO speed settings. Just go in there, make sure that ISO speed auto is available and that I've set the range. So on the 5D Mark IV, I'm happy to use the camera um, on a minimum of 100 and a maximum of 12,800 ISO when I'm shooting auto ISO. Now I can go back to my info screen and I can see exactly uh, what's going on here. Uh, one of the benefits of shooting in M mode and auto ISO is that I have really rapid access to the two controls that will change my shutter speed and my aperture. So I can access the front wheel, which as you can see it changing the aperture here. Um, just with my index finger without looking away from the viewfinder as is normal whether I'm shooting uh, any mode and then I've set up my the rear wheel on my camera to change shutter speed so if you watch the back screen you can see that simply rolling the rear dial uh, gives me a faster shutter speed um, because I'm shooting wildlife and because I'm shooting in an environment where I'm not in control of the light uh, sometimes the angle of light. Um, I don't want to try and spend time managing the ISO myself and that would defeat the whole um, purpose of trying to um, use the camera in the most efficient way. So I engage auto ISO which is as simple as pressing the ISO button on the top of the camera and rolling the wheel all the way left which will get you into auto ISO. To get out of auto ISO push the ISO button, roll the wheel right, and you're back into manual ISO settings. But let me go, I want auto ISO, and that's how I choose it. So what happens now is I'm choosing shutter speed on the back wheel, aperture on the front, and the camera is automatically choosing ISO that it needs to give me that exposure. So it's still my job to look in the viewfinder as I touch the shutter and make sure that I'm happy that the ISO is not too high for what I need. Um, if it is, uh, it's simply a case of accepting a lower shutter speed which will drop it. As you can see it goes down or opening the aperture a bit more, taking a bit less depth of field and you can see now the ISO has gone down less than half what it was. So just by setting up the camera this way, it gives me such a, a quick and easy way to control those two critical parameters um, for me for wildlife photography. Uh, the better the, the image quality gets on these cameras at high ISO, the more the auto ISO option um, becomes usable. Um, what's new on the 5D Mark IV uh, is that we can still get exposure compensation working uh, in auto ISO. So there are a number of ways to do that. 
Uh, the first way is to go into the main menu, go to your orange menu and to custom controls and make sure that your set button which is the one in the middle of the rear wheel is is enabled to set exposure compensation so I've done that what it means is I can push set with my thumb and use front finger to roll the front wheel and there's compensation it will stay in place until I change it so you need to remember to take it off so push set set it back that's one way to do it uh, another way um, if you're struggling to push the set button and turn the wheel at the same time is to push the Q button navigate with that field to the meter and then simply use the back wheel to to change it and then you can you don't even have to push set you can just touch the shutter and jump right on out so you can confidently use uh, M mode and auto ISO um, as long as you've gone into the main menu and set up your limits um, so that the ISO doesn't go higher than you would like in terms of image quality and also just uh, I try to get into the habit of looking in the viewfinder each time I push the shutter and then I can see exactly what ISO the camera is going to give me for any given exposure and that then indicates to me that I'm asking for a too fast shutter speed or I may need to give up some depth of field but overall I find it a really fast and uh, easy way um, to set up my camera for use for wildlife photography uh, one other thing to keep note of is um, if you are working in very bright light um, make sure that the shutter speed that you choose as a minimum is fast enough uh, otherwise you're going to find that the meter will start indicating that you're overexposing and you'll get very bright photos but uh, otherwise just uh, go ahead and use it with uh, with confidence on the 5d4 subscribe to this channel if you want to keep getting videos about Canon gear from a wildlife photographer's perspective